Hey there, Taurus, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of July, and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Taurus, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal, make sure to check out the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to say thank you, donation link is also below. Any and every amount is greatly appreciated. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to my email list for more bonus free readings. I only send them out to my email list subscribers. You cannot get them anywhere else. Okay, Taurus, main energy for the reading is the King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you get the Four of Cups. You're definitely showing up in your power here. I don't assign gender to my cards. But my question to you is, why are you bummed? What's up with the bummy energy? We'll see. In the recent past, you get the world, sorry, this is a new deck, so I don't know the pictures yet. You get the world, the page of pentacles, and the two of wands. There was a cycle that you decided to close out here in the recent past, and it was a learning cycle for you. It was, a, you were meant to learn and grow from this, but it seems like you just kind of waited on the learning part. The cycle ended, and you're just kind of like, well, I'll get to this in a minute. Um, I don't know exactly what you're waiting for, but it's almost like you're either waiting to assimilate the lessons or even start taking the lessons, the messages, whatever it is you're meant to gather from this and taking them and incorporating them into your life. In the current situation, you get the Ace of Wands, the Moon, and the King of Swords. You do want a brand new beginning here with somebody. You do want to reignite this connection, reignite the spark, but you don't know. There are excuse me, there's something that you're unsure about here. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to look at this from a logical perspective, right? If I can't sense, if I can't feel what the right answer is, then let me think about it. In the near future, you get the eight of swords, the six of swords, and the two of swords. You walked away, I feel, in the recent past, or it doesn't matter who ended it. You're basically showing me I can't stop thinking about the walking away part, about whoever left, whoever walked away. That's the part which really sticks with you for some reason in the recent past. And there's something you're not clear on. You're showing me, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So if you walked away, it could be that you're regretting walking away. Or if they decided to walk away, there's something that you're lacking clarity on about the departure part. So let's clarify. We'll start off by clarifying the King of Pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Wow. King of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles again, the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you get the Seven of Swords. There's not much happening between you and this person. Um, you are still very drawn to them. You are still very attracted to them. And I don't feel like there's no contact at all, but it's very minimal. It's very superficial. It's almost borderline like childish, the way you're showing it to me. It's like, oh, I give you some energy. You give me some energy. Maybe we send each other some memes or TikToks or something, but there's nothing... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, there's nothing concrete, there's nothing substantial in the communication, in the interaction. Um, yeah, it's it's all, it, it's fun, right? It's cute, but there's no depth to it. Let's take a look at the world in the recent past. The world is clarified by the Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Empress. Death is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Somebody ended something here. Either you ended it, they ended it. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Whoever is showing me that they chose to end this, they did this from a logical perspective. They're, the way they're communicating it to me and the way they communicated it to you um, is it just makes sense. It literally just makes sense to do this. It's not that I feel like I want to do this. It's not that, you know, I don't care about you anymore. Or you don't matter. It's none of that. It just makes sense is how they're showing it to me which to me doesn't make sense. How would it make sense to care about somebody and still choose to end the connection? But they did. Let's take a look at the Page of Pentacles in the recent past. Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Hangman, Ten of Swords, and the Tower. Yeah, this ending came out of absolutely nowhere, literally. You're like, hey, everything's good, everything's great, and then bam, this person's like, yeah, we're done. Remember how I said at the beginning that this was meant to teach you something? This was meant to send you on like a little bit of a learning journey, a growth curve. You're stuck on that. It's like things ended, the ending sucked and it hurt and it came out of nowhere and I was surprised and I was shocked and that's it. Like you're just stuck in that energy. The universe caused this ending um, for you to, to, to grow, to learn, right? The Page of Pentacles is about acquiring some sort of knowledge. You're not in the learning part yet. It's like you're holding the book and you're like not ready to open it yet. You're evaluating and assessing something, which I, I don't know what that is, but you're meant to, to read the book. This lesson was meant to be learned and you just stopped right before 
the 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 lesson part because you're still going through the pain so it makes sense let's take a look at the two of wands in the recent past <clears throat> Two of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Wands, which you get again in the current situation. The Two of Wands again in the Magician. You're waiting. All you're doing is waiting to rekindle this, to start over for a new beginning. That's what you're manifesting too. You get the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You want to work with this person. You want to build. You want to like reestablish a foundation. Um, now I understand why you didn't take the time to learn in the recent past because your mind was like forget learning let's just get back together i want to rekindle this i want a new beginning with this person that's what you're waiting for that's what you're manifesting you're like forget this whole lesson nonsense like let's get to the good part which is the reconciliation and us getting back together so let's clarify the ace of wands in the current situation and see if that actually happened Ace of Wands is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Emperor, and the King of Cups. You really do love this person, okay? And bottom of the deck, you get the Two of Cups. There's a lot of love in this connection, and you really love this person. But you don't know how this person feels about you, at least not in the current situation. You're showing me I love them. I want a reconciliation. I want to start this over. I want to bring this back. But the person that you're dealing with is literally a stone wall. You're not getting any feedback from them. They're sitting there on their throne, literally just like, okay, Taurus, cater to me. And again, I can understand, you're showing me the page of swords. I can understand the doubt. I can understand where you're like, okay, well, what do you want? How do you feel? You know, all of that. You have no idea how they feel because they're literally, and I hate to say this, Taurus, but they're in the position of power here. They're the ones which run the show. They decide what's what, what happens, you know, when you guys talk, when you don't talk. Um, they kind of hold the reins right now. And you seem to, to be comfortable with letting them holding the rein, holding, letting them hold the reins. Jesus, I can't even talk. Um, you seem comfortable with letting them hold the reins as long as they take you back, as long as you guys get back together. And I don't even feel like you ended things, Taurus. I feel like they ended things. So you're showing me this breakup came out of nowhere. But you do love them and love will make us set aside parts of ourselves just so that we can feel that love back. And that seems like what you're doing in the current situation. Let's clarify the moon in the current situation. Moon is clarified by the three of wands, the ten of cups, and the four of wands. This is a really strong bond that you share with this person. And this connection brings you a lot of happiness. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, um, or Pisces. This connection does bring you a lot of happiness. And you're showing me I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the point where we get back to that beautiful energy of I'm connected to you, you're connected to me, we both make each other happy. That's what you're anticipating. But Taurus, you're refusing to look at something here. With the moon, it's literally like ostrich energy. You're burying your head in the sand. And so, I, again, I'm not saying this connection is not beautiful. It is. I can see the depth of this connection. I can see the bond. I can see how happy you guys make each other. But you are choosing to ignore one glaring detail. And it is that this person embodies the King of Wands energy. King of Wands is a cocky, cocky, cocky person. Um, not only are they very cocky, they're very confident. They're very um, sure of themselves. At least that's the way they like to present it. The problem with this person is that they're not a wallflower. They like to flirt. They like attention from the opposite gender. They really, really enjoy that. That's how they thrive. That's how they, they feel alive. And that seems to be a problem when it comes to this connection. Um, so I don't know if this person just really likes to flirt with other people or what, but their energy is very boastful. You're very calm, grounded. You're very clear on what you want. This person is giving me put me on a pedestal, put me on a stage, listen to everything I have to say, and then maybe I'll entertain your request, which is to get back together. Very cocky energy. I'll be honest, not a huge fan. Let's take a look at the King of Swords in the current situation. King of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Justice. Bottom of the deck, you get the Three of Swords. Listen, Taurus. Your whole energy this month is being driven by the pain. You don't want to feel the pain. You don't want to feel heartbroken again or anymore. I understand that. And so you keep showing me, oh, I'm trying to figure this out logically. I'm trying to decide what the best thing to do is logically, right? 
but you're not being logical. There is no logic here. Your logic is out the window. And I know that you're going to get upset with me for saying this. The only thing driving you here, if I were to tell you, Taurus, where is your balance? What balances you out? What levels you out? Your balance comes from receiving love from this person, from giving them your love, from receiving love from them. That's all you want because you're driven by the, the I am sick and tired of feeling heartbroken. The only way you can stop feeling heartbroken is by getting affection and attention from them. That's where your balance lies. And so you keep showing me, oh, I'm trying to figure this out logically. I'm trying to look at the best course of action, what makes most sense. It's BS. There is no sense here. There is no sense. Your mind will find a way to rationalize any action that you take as long as it makes the emotional pain go away and as long as you receive love from them. That's it. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Chariot. You keep trying to think about how to move forward, how to move forward, how to progress. But the thing here is in the near future, unlike the current situation, you're trying to figure out what will bring you the most emotional balance, emotional fulfillment, and emotional stability. That's your biggest thing. You're like, that's where I'm trying to get clear on. Where can I go? What can I do um, that is aligned for me and for my emotional fulfillment and balance, which I like because unlike the current situation where it's like, just give me love, just give me love. Here you are focusing on yourself and on your emotional um, makeup, right? Like you really are a hermit going deep and trying to figure that out. Let's take a look at the six of swords in the near future. Six of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Star, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, all you want is, literally, if I were a genie and I came up to you, I was like, you get one wish, all you want is just to get back to a balanced place. You don't want this up and down. You don't want this rocky energy. You just want to get to a place that feels balanced and level and good and calm. And where I love you and you love me back. Not I'm just giving you love. The love goes both ways. And remember, you get the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is tied up to this energy. The emotion is still driving you. The desire to feel love and receive love from them is still what's driving you here. But it's not the main focus, unlike the current situation, which it is. In the near future, you kind of get your wits about you and you're like, wait a minute, I'm making this all about them. I need to make this all about me. Let's look at the two of swords in the near future. Two of swords is clarified by the wheel of fortune, the three of pentacles and the fool. Yeah, I like this. I like this. You are still in pain, Taurus, in the near future. I do see pain. I do see anxiety. You do still want three of cups, a reconciliation with this person. But you're showing me I want to move in a better direction. But this direction is not just love me, love me, love me. This direction is we need to rebuild a foundation. We need to fix the cracks and whatever caused the separation and the breakup to begin with. And we need to wipe the slate clean and start over. No sweeping this nonsense under the rug. No pretending like everything's okay. We genuinely have to wipe the slate clean and start from scratch. I like it. You don't know how to do that yet, right? But at least your objective is clear. At least you're like, okay, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, you, again, you don't know exactly how to make that happen quite yet. So I do see you thinking about it. But at least you know what you're looking for. Which is not just love me, love me, love me, love me. Like this was giving desperado energy. Not going to lie, Taurus. And that's not you. You're not a desperado sign. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Taurus. From the universe, you get the tower, the justice, and the lovers. All really, really big, intense energies. This is a deep connection. It's a soul connection. It's the lovers, right? And your main goal this week, this week, this month, is to restore divine balance where everything crumbled. Remember, this ending came out of nowhere for you and it completely shattered and devastated you. And now you're like, how do I bring back divine balance? How do I restore divine balance internally for myself? Like, forget about this connection for a minute. How do I feel balanced and leveled within myself and within my energies? So Taurus, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on the next one.